there in Mathland, we have a very, very, very special guest. Hi, Mrs. Clayton. Hi, Miss Calamaris. I'm so excited to be in the Hi. math video. I think I'm going to get be at 1 million subscribers after today. Uh, yeah. I'll make sure to, um, I don't know. Can you tag someone in the YouTube video? I don't know. Uh, let's, let's give it a whirl. Okay, cool. Um, uh, Mrs. Kleinkopf has been invited to join us for math today. How are they doing? They are doing so amazing. I am so impressed with how they manage themselves and everything is running so smoothly and everyone is so engaged. Like nice well, work, fifth graders. Woo -wee. It's like a well oiled machine. It is, really. for, sure. for sure. Um, we are going to have, we have some Lady mathematicians taking over here. What is our learning target today, girls? To solve problems involving fractions using division. Mm. Okay, That's good a luck. Tall Yay. order. Good I, luck. I think I think we're ready for it. Okay, let's check it out. Before I hi. <clears throat> Before I pass this over to my fellow mathematicians, uh, keep in mind we are in lesson twenty-seven. I'm going to do a word problem here, and then I'm going to take the ladies. Let the ladies take over. <clears throat> So, this problem is about our friend Millen. Keep in mind, do you guys remember the rope walker story that we talked about in social studies where the scuffle started with British troops and colonists? Interesting connection here. Okay, let's read the problem. Millen has four pieces of rope, one meter long each. He cuts each rope into fifths. And then the question is asking, how many fifths will he have after cutting all of the ropes? Okay, so what I need before we start to solve this is an expression. So we have four being divided, how? Into, we're having, we're dividing four by one fifth. So let's go ahead and draw a model. It is so important, you guys, to start with that expression. This is going to be the guiding force throughout this whole problem. If this expression is incorrect, the model will be incorrect and the final answer will be incorrect. So let's go ahead and show this visually using a model. Um, so this, we're dividing a whole number by a fraction. So this whole rectangle represents four. I'm going to go ahead and mark our four individual units that live inside four. You guys know four is made up of one, two, three, four units. And then furthermore, I'm going to slice each of my individual you so we have one we have one this is not rocket science you guys know four ones make up four but it's just important to be very clear i'm now going to slice my one into five even pieces because we are dividing four by one fifth so we have that happening one two three four happening one two three four what we're looking at, you guys, is total, how many slices do we have here? Well, we have five slices here, and I'm labeling inside my individual ones. I have five slices here, I have five slices here, and I have five slices here. So four divided by one fifth, how many fifths will uh, he have after cutting all the ropes? He will have 20. Because what we're doing, you guys, is finding five copies of four. We have one, two, three, four units, and we slice each of those four units into five. So he will have 20 fifths. Let's look at this one. How long will each of the fifths be in centimeters? So we're looking at each of the fifths that live inside one fourth. Um, yes. So let's grab another color. Um, let's look at this right here. That yellow slice represents one out of what? Well, this whole rectangle is cut into 20 slices. So that yellow slice represents 1 20th. Um, all of these slices, that is 1 20th, that is 1 20th, that is 1 20th, that is 1 20th. I'm not going to go ahead and color in 20 twentieths, but please know that one of these slices is 1 twentieth. So how long will each of the fifths be in centimeters? So what this is asking us to do is do a conversion. Uh, we are looking to change 1 twentieth. Keep in mind this was 4 meters. I did not mark that. That's, we were given meters to start with. I didn't mean to erase that. I was trying to underline that. We started with meters. So this is four meters. Uh, this is one twentieth. Um, so what we're looking here for, you guys, is to convert one twentieth 
of a meter um, to some amount of centimeters. And I am so excited to do that because I know all we have to do is U, C, S. Unpack, convert, solve. So we're going to do that first by unpacking. We're going to unpack what we are starting with. We're starting with 1 20th of a meter. Sweet. 1 20th of a meter equals 1 20th times 1 meter. Awesome. We're unpacked. We just separated our 1 20th from our units. That wasn't. Um, unpacking is just taking our 1 20th away from our unit. We're just multiplying those two together. Now we're going to convert. I'm going to drop down my 1 20th and then I'm going to multiply 1 20th in our conversion step by some amount of, what are we converting to? We're converting to centimeters. Some amount of centimeters that are equal to 1 meter. Well, I know 1 meter is equal to 100 centimeters. These two, one meter and uh, blank centimeters, have to be equal to one another. Beautiful. So now we have our conversion step done. All we have left to do is solve. And I'm going to, I'm running out of room. Actually, maybe I can get some more. No, it's still not enough. Um, I'm going to solve right here. So we're looking at 1 20th times 100 which looks like 1 times 100 up top, multiply the numerators together, over 20, that's the only denominator we have. 1 times 100, think about it, 100, awesome. And we have 100 over 20. 100 divided by 20, simplified, think about it. Um, well, I know that there's 5. 20s that go into 100. So our answer here, my friends, uh, is 5 centimeters. 5 times, I'm just looking at this for, because some reason I feel so funny about that. No, oh, we're good. Um, sweet. So this is awesome because our world of uh, conversions are colliding with modeling and dividing whole numbers by uh, fractions. Please keep in mind that we are going to be dividing whole numbers by fractions. We also might be dividing um, fractions by whole numbers. When we're dividing fractions by whole numbers, friends, our models are going to represent one. If I were to model one third divided by two, my model is one. I divide one into one, two, three parts, and then I divide each of my thirds into two pieces. One third divided by two is going to be one of these slices. What fraction is that? That is one sixth. Cool, let's check out uh, some more problems. Okay, so Faye has five pieces of ribbon, each one yard long. She cuts each ribbon into six. How many six will she have after cutting all the ribbon? So, she has... A yard long to cut that into six. One, two, three, four, five and it is a yard long. Okay, so one divided by one six equals six. Six six in one yard. And 36 Hey y'all, next Emma is going to answer <clears throat> the second part of the problem. Uh, the second part of the problem says, how long, this is B, how long will each of the sixths be in inches? And you're going to see here in just a moment that Emma's going to use UCS, unpack, convert, solve, to convert the yards to inches. So check it out. So, one sixth of a yard is equal to one sixth 
times one yard. And that equals to one six times thirty six inches. Inches. And then that also equals six inches. So Faye will have thirty six. After cutting all the ribbons. <laughs> okay. Calvin ordered four pizzas for a birthday party. The pizzas were cut in eight. How many slices were there? Draw a picture to support your response. So, we ordered four pizzas. And the pizzas were cut into eighths. So this is eight. This is eight. This is eight. This is eight. Which is eight times four, which is thirty two. This is Vanya and Emma. And, and our, our secret, secret word, word is orange narwhals. narwhals.